The rivers are full, the roads submerged, and there is more on the way. A weekend of potentially dangerous weather after a week of damage and death. In Somerset, a man in his 70s at the wheel of his car was caught and killed in a flood, swept downstream, unable to save himself or be saved. As his drowned car is finally rescued from its resting place, it is a reminder of how a single journey can claim a life. Having got stuck, there is little that could have been done to save the car and its driver. This bollard that may have acted as a defence had already been rendered useless because 24 hours earlier, it had helped to save another driver that got stuck here. On Wednesday, neighbours had helped with the successful rescue, but last night they were powerless to help. But I'm assuming much of the, the road here, all of this grass was covered in water, was it? Oh yes, it was in, in my garden. The water was over the wall here. I mean, this wall is what, four and a half feet off the water? Yeah. And the water was in the garden, in my garage, which is, say, a good uh, four feet above the water line. Nearby in the city of Bath, residents had a fortunate escape when torrential rain caused a landslip in a built-up area. Several properties still remain in danger. Some people heard it, heard the land fall. Uh, the edge of his flat, the patio's fallen down. And then this house literally, it, it looks like it's kind of hanging. Snowdonia faced some of the worst conditions. The town of Clamberis was among the hardest hit. 100 properties on the high street ruined by storm force winds and flash floods. It was quite unexpected. We didn't think it would you know, happen, um, but it has. And there we are, we've just got to get on with things and, and get cleaned up and back with business. This leisure park near the River Neen in Northamptonshire remains inaccessible 24 hours on and the thousand people who are meant to be on holiday here still forced into emergency accommodation elsewhere. In Dorset, driving conditions remain difficult in many parts. Several people stranded in their vehicles had to be rescued. The rivers remain swollen and another inch or more of rain is due tomorrow. Forecasters warn that further flooding over a very wet and blustery weekend is inevitable. Rupert Evelyn, ITV News.